Hello all and happy Friday. Today's video I have an Ikea haul to share with you all. Now I was going to purchase these items when we were shopping and we went to check out. My dad actually paid for these items so a big thank you to him for buying these items for us. This video is for adults and not intended for children and this is a video designed more for a buyer's guide of these Ikea products. So I'm just going to get started with the first item and it's quite large so I'll be back in a moment. So this is the first item I picked up. So it is this play kitchen and I'm going to leave it in the box because Nate and I are going to be putting this together as a STEM and practical life activity where he gets to use real tools. But there's their information, the sizing and the product number if you want to look it up. I will include pictures in a moment, but uh, it's got a cool sliding door at the front that could be slid over as like an oven or a fridge or and then the other side you could use it as like a shelving area so it's up to the child's imagination and it's also a chalkboard the sliding door so that's pretty cool so i'm just going to lay out the other items on the table and i'll show you what else i picked up As you can tell from the pictures, it looks like a really nice play kitchen for only $30. I'm really looking forward to putting this together with Nate. And when it is all completed and we put it together, I will do a separate video on it and like a review type of video. So I'm just going to finish laying out the rest of the things on the table and I'll show you the other items I picked up. Now this next item, Nathaniel wanted me to use some of his birthday money to buy this item, but then my dad ended up paying for it, so I ended up using some of his birthday money to order stuff on Amazon. So there'll be a video, Amazon video coming up uh, soon too, but uh, this is really cool. He's wanted this since he saw it in their flyer. So this is like a dinosaur cave with like a volcano. Comes with six little wooden dinosaurs and the six pieces that you need to put it together. This is for ages three and up. And there's the product number. And this is what it looks like. So it's super cool for imaginative play. And it doesn't have to be with dinosaurs. This would be perfect for like a zoo setup and uh, even with this pirate theme and like a volcano and they go on the island. So I think he's going to really love this item. I'm going to get try to get this built before he gets home and, uh, and then have it all set up for him. But I know he's going to love this because he's wanted it for a while. This was only $25. And then next we have this, this item and this was only $6.00. I kind of wrote the price there, but yeah, $6, and it is a 24 activity sheets, and there's plenty of different activities you can do. There's like coloring, there's these little puzzle ones, there's the dot to dots, you can put the legs on the dinosaur, so there's 24 sheets in total, and it's just a activity pad with, again, dinosaur themed, so I think he'll really like this. The product number on this one is there. If you want to check it out. But yeah, this looks like a fun activity and lots of different sheets that we can do together. Now these next three items I'm going to show you were on my wish list. So two of them go together. So Lego partnered with Ikea and they came out with their own Lego set. So I thought that was absolutely fantastic. It is for ages five and up. It is 201 pieces. And this was $25, but it's really cute. It's got like kind of like a living room, kitchen kind of scene, like with a little garden. You got this cute banana and a little coffee mug, a flower, the little character. So it's really cute. And you get two of the little characters and the little hats and the flowers. You got a door, window, and lots of little pieces. And you can just do a cute little setup. So I think Nate's going to really love this item. For $25, that's, I think, fantastic price. And these little windows will fit into the next product I'm going to show you. So this next product was $20. And this is a 26 by 18 by 12 centimeter storage box. But your child can actually add the window pieces into it. And they can build on the top part as... Um, like a platform and then they can store all their pieces inside afterwards so i think that's absolutely fantastic as well because he can build and store his little you know the things he makes so love those two items and then this has been on my wish list for a very long time this is only ten dollars and this is 
a 37 by 37 centimeter little vertical wall shelf that has these three little ladders. So uh, it's got like the five little shelves and this is perfect for displaying little small uh, figurines and toys, but it's also great for imaginative play. You can do it as like a dinosaur setup, a zoo setup. Um, you can uh, put it beside like his fire station and he can have the firemen running up and down the ladders. Lots of things you can do with this little shelf. So that was high on my wish list for a while. And he likes to build things and save them. So I thought this would also be perfect just to save his little things that he makes. So that's a great buy on that for $10. Fantastic. And then we always need batteries, so I grabbed two packs of these batteries. They're $2.60 each, and I just grabbed 10 of the double A's and 10 of the triple A's. So I'm just going to pause for one more moment, and I'm going to show you all the art supplies I picked up. So one art supply I always get uh, at Ikea is their scissors because they're only $3 and you get three pairs. So you get the really large pointed ones. You get a smaller pointed and then a smaller rounded one. So um, I've always allowed Nate to have scissors, but they've always been the plastic type. So I'm going to introduce them to these, uh, the middle pair that's the rounded uh, ones because when he goes to school they use real scissors so I'm gonna have to start it um, getting them practice so great buy on those and then I got these chalks for well his little kitchen but chalks in general we're always using chalks so this is three dollars and it's uh, nine piece of these really brightly colored chalks so you get three of the white and then you get the uh, primary and secondary colors so great buy on those as well and this is a repurchase. I bought in these, but we've used them so much since the last time I've been at Ikea that I just want to get a new set. So these are $5, and they are the little stampers. So you get the light blue, yellow, pink, red, uh, green, and black, but they're actually little, like, uh, figures on them. So I'll show you on the lids. Um, no, not on the lids. Oh, yeah, on the bottoms, actually. So there's what they look like, but then I'll just show you. So it's a ghost, which we've used at Halloween lots of times, the heart, the flower, the sun, the frog, and the little paw. So really cute little stampers. So I like those. And then these are, I thought were fun for our white, uh, like I do a lot of dry erase activities. So these are $3, but they're four brightly colored dry erase markers. They do look like highlighters, but if you look closely, it does say whiteboard. So if you do pick them up thinking they're highlighters there for whiteboard. I just wanted the bright colors for some of our spring activities and into Easter activities. And then this last item was absolutely fantastic. And this is a large pack of 24 of their markers. And this was $5.50. And these colors are just beautiful. Now, I think last time they had a marker set, it was only 12 or 16 markers in the pack. This time they've added a lot more colors. Just really nice colors. I love that there's new shades of brown too. And just different bright colors. I love this. And uh, I know we're going to be doing a lot of coloring activities with these. So that was a great buy and a great price on these uh, markers. So uh, the Ikea store that I went to is the one at, um, it's Ikea Queensway. So just at Kipling and Queensway. Just on the, uh, I guess, south southwest corner of uh, the Queensway. And... Uh, I love um, Ikea. Usually when we go there, we used to go there a lot after work. I'd finish work around 12 and then go there and we'd have like our brunch, breakfast. And one of my favorite things to do is get their Swedish meatballs. Now, that area is all closed right now because restaurants can't be open. But if you are looking for any Christmas finds for next, like this upcoming Christmas, uh, you can go to that Ikea. They had the whole kind of restaurant dining area was all set up with as is section stuff, but they had a whole other section with all the Christmas stuff that they couldn't sell because they were closed during Christmas time. So they had trees and ornaments, all kinds of really nice uh, Christmas ornaments on sale. So yeah, you, um, it's worth checking out if you have an Ikea near uh, you. And uh, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye for now.